Good morning or afternoon. We are looking at number 64, chromatic crawl. The concept for number 64 is the concept of enharmonics or enharmonic. That just means that there are two notes that have the same name. And honestly, every note has two names, but there are some of them that are more common than others. The one that you're probably most familiar with is C sharp and D flat. C sharp and D flat are the exact same pitch, they're the exact same note, they're just written differently depending on what key the music is in. So normally if you're in a flat key it will be written as a D flat and if you're a sharp key it'll be written as a C sharp. It really depends kind of publisher to publisher how they choose to write it but usually that's the way it is. If you look at this piece they actually chose to write the sharps going up and the flats going down. That's perfectly fine, that's also a common way to do it. So some other enharmonics that are less common are C flat, what in the heck is a C flat? C flat is the same as a B natural because if you go to a B uh, flat and you go up a half step, it's a B. If you go right here and you go C down a half step, it is a C flat, but it's also a B. So B, C flat the same. And here, E, F flat are the same. F flat just sounds wrong to say, but it is the same note as E natural. And then right here, F sharp and G flat. That's a common in harmonic that you probably have seen or heard before, maybe in Jeopardy. So that's all there really is to this tune. Uh, some of you need to make sure that you're using the appropriate fingerings as you're going up and down chromatically. For some instruments, namely woodwind instruments like clarinet, you need to use some fingerings that um, avoid strange transitions with your fingers and switching fingers. So make sure that you look through all of that thoroughly. And that's all there is to this one. So make sure that you understand the concept of inharmonics well enough to be able to explain it to someone else.